Now, if you guys don't know, the IGN did at IGN Fest when to show off some couple of games and one game I really, really, really want to see more of. And of course, want to see more news of that game, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little game called Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys don't know me, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Lego games. In my personal opinion, easily the best Lego game. As for right now, in my personal opinion, it easily hands down Lego DC Super Vans. But in my personal opinion, the all time favorite Lego game for me is easily hands down Marvel Avengers and Lego Batman DC. C2 laser. Those games are easy to find my childhood laser. Especially Lego Batman 2 because oh my goodness, I remember I got the game. The first time I got the game was on the DS. And after that, I went back. It was Christmas. I got the game on the Nintendo Wii. And that game was even more fun on the Wii. And I had so much fun with the Lego games. But in my personal opinion, the last Lego game I stopped playing, okay, the last Lego game I played was Lego DC Super Fans. And after that, I stopped playing Lego games. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely had a blast with Lego DC Super Fans. Because Easy Hands Down, Lego DC Super Fans, Easy Hands Down, one of the best Lego games of all time, in my personal opinion. But for some reason, I stopped playing the Lego games because some of the Lego games was not that fun. Like, in my personal opinion, Lego Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and Lego The Incredibles, those two games are easily hands out one of my least favorite games of all time. Not like all time are easily one of my least favorite Lego games, but we, I'm not gonna talk about The Force Awakens because, oh boy, that game was a huge disappointment for me. And I'm really, 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 really hope that The Force Awakens, Lego Star Wars Force Awakens doesn't bail in this game because I'm so, so, so excited to play this game because if you guys don't know, I hope that they're changing the mechanics, the battle system, the characters, the graphics, and because if you guys don't know, I hope that this Lego game is easy, hands down, the biggest Lego game of all time. I can see why, because everything about this game looks absolutely fantastic. I just cannot wait to play it. <laughs> oh, I love Lego games. Easy, hands down, one of the best and the fun games of all time. So let's get started. The voice of link of this video will be in the description below. Let's get started, laser and free. Two, one, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm just so, so excited to see some more gameplay, more everything. Oh, it looks so good, man. I've been a massive fan of Lego and Star Wars since I was very young. Me? <laughs> That's Night me. That's 100% me. There's weird aliens. Of course, I didn't watch so Star Wars when I was little, but I want to go order. Oh, oh boy, I love Star Wars. A franchise that spans. Oh, dude, it looks so oh, good, man. I just cannot wait. Make the jump to light speed. Oh, dude, I'm just so happy that we finally get another Lego game. I love Lego games. As soon as we started talking about doing a new Lego Star Wars game, the ambition swelled because as fans, we love all the movies. True. And to have the well, opportunity to the movies. <laughs> tell the whole saga from episode one all the way through to episode nine, we knew dude, we had that to is take crazy. it further than we'd ever been. It's just so crazy, we dude. We started off by having regular meetings with Lego and Lucasfilm, discussing just everything about the visual design of Star Wars, what makes a Star Wars game, how we might I just love watching Lego art. Like, it's just so good, game. man. They gave us like, access corporate to all of, of like, behind-the-scenes video games. so good, man. the greatest man. thing to be able to dig into. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so the good, man. <laughs> I love you, Chewbacca. It's incredible and filled with I just love the humor in Lego moments. games. It always because brings a smile to my Lego face. Game, we have freedom. You can use the humor and we can spin I'm just so it. happy, so man. We're finally getting a Lego game. Han Solo, but he might have a banana instead of a blaster or something. Uh, hi! Uh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this is why I love Lego games, y'all. <laughs> this is why I love it. Felt familiar, but Whoa! Wait, can you swim? The the frameworks we put in place to enable us to do If that. you can swim, I'm literally gonna scream. And all the different systems that make up that game. Real-time processing on the voices. If it, so if you, you if you can helmet, swim in this game, on, it is easy the best game. To sound like you're a stormtrooper. Well, it looks like you've got a stormtrooper problem. Oh, that's awesome! Because I remember when you try to customize the characters and the... Oh, dude, that's so good! Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, because if you guys don't remember, um, that we customize a character uh, when if somebody if is dressed as a stormtrooper, it doesn't sound like work, them. Be but I'm just so resolution so good, the man. amazing work that the models team have done. We get to recreate all of these iconic designs literally brick by brick. Oh, so good, man. Ships entirely out of Lego bricks. So that's not just the exterior of the ship. That's the interior. In my personal opinion, Lego games are so hard to make because they really had to make it mostly Lego. all the environment into Lego. One of our capsule ships in real so life, like the Lego so movie. Millions and like, millions oh, bricks. dude. We've like, oh, I can't wait to fly. Oh, I'm so because if you did the same thing as Guardians of the Galaxy. What we would do is we'd look at the film reference. And we take existing Lego creatures and characters that are similar. Oh, so they had to literally like watch is. some parts of and the movie is we to make um, create the monsters or the beasts into this game. So it's just cool. really true to Lego IP, and it's really true to the film IP. <laughs> Oh, this game is gonna what be so good, man! Buttons. I can so feel it. So what we've it. done is try to keep what's familiar, but really add something a bit more modern in, a bit more fresh. I just love one of the things when people talk game about the games they're making to see how well, they the came combat up with that game. idea. It's so, so good, man. Feel more visceral now when you use the blaster combat. We bring the camera Yes, down, I am so excited to use the Blaster Combat. I think everyone decided to see that because like when everyone saw that, action, everybody flipped out, including Even myself. Force is a huge part of the game. The Jedi, the, the Sith, they all have this Force power. Even the Force, the like, oh boy, I cannot wait to use it. Out. We really took advantage of that Force. Alongside, because when I saw the piece. combat, the combo thing, I. I lost you fall it. Into space and there's like just interactions that will happen. Giant ships, like a star destroyer. Dude, this is this is just insane, it, man. Capture it and take it over. Oh, boss fights awesome. Games, we think about the fans a lot. So there's a few Easter eggs in this game. Oh, stuff that we're really excited to get in. Oh, I'm ready. Can switch all the weapons so that it's mouth noises. So you wait, wait. Pew pew. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm using that. <laughs> so mode is basically yes, mumble mode. So um, part of the video thing, I, I, I didn't, I, I believe I didn't talk about this when I went to the like technically the gameplay to this a while back when to show off the gameplay and the combat system and everything is new to this game. But I didn't don't think I talked about mumble mode because if you guys don't know what mumble mode is. Because if you guys know a while back, I think the first Lego Star Wars game, you always speak that boom, 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 like mom, mom, mom. I was like, oh, I remember. I was like, I don't think I talk about it in Mumble Mo in the last Star Wars I react to. But if I did, then I remember. If I don't, I just just remember after watching that video. I was like, I, I remember, and I, I just, <laughs> I totally remember. <laughs> oh, I just, I just can't wait to play this game, y'all. <laughs> Animation, expression, and these sort of mumbles that mimicked the speech. Yeah! Oh, I'm just <laughs> this is so good, man. I've seen your work. Dear, oh on boy, a I. This really makes it feel like it's something special. This is the ultimate experience. Dude, of I got a feeling like this game might be my game of the year. As whatever character you want. It looks really so good, man. In Star Wars. And I can't wait for players dude! to see the hard work. It's been a really ambitious project. Oh, dude, the really boss fight is going to be awesome. Dude, this game is going to sell very good. I just, I got, yes, dude. Just 100% yes. I'm just so happy that we finally get another Star Wars game and another Lego game because when I heard they make another Star Wars game, I was like, oh boy, <laughs> because you guys know me away that I absolutely did not enjoy the Force Awakens Lego because in my personal opinion, it just wasn't that fun because all the vehicles were so small but if you guys don't know that even Lego DC Super Villains, even like Marvel games, all the vehicles are huge. But when you get to Force Awakens, like for example, the Jets and the Amelia Falcon and all the elf 
all the pilots, everything. It's just so small. It's like a little, like, mini, like, race car. I was like, are you serious? Like, I did not enjoy it. Uh, I did, in my personal opinion, I did kind of enjoy the story. Of course, I enjoyed the humor as well. But the main problem is the vehicles. And I just didn't enjoy, like, the battles at all. Because, yeah, I really don't know. But, yeah, it's Easy Hands Down. The Force Awakens Lego Star Wars Easy Hands Down. One of my least favorite Lego games. In my personal opinion, Easy Hands Down. One of my least favorite games of all time. But when I saw they announced that they are really making all the Star Wars games into one game, I was like... Yep, I am all I am because I was so so excited. And at the same time, I was very nervous to see how they're gonna do with Force Awakens until when I saw the gameplay and the design and everything about this game, I lost my mind. I completely lost my mind. I was like, yep, give it to me. <laughs> Like, the combat system, the combos, everything about it, even the enemy thing looks absolutely fan freaking tastic. It looks so good, man. I'm just so happy that in my personal opinion, they took, they, I got think that they have a blast making into this game because the mumbling mode, the pew pew pew, is a whoosh whoosh. Like, I just can't wait to do it. I'm 100 percent gonna use a pew pew. <laughs> so. so so good, man. I just cannot wait to play this game. And I, because I'm a huge LEGO fan, I'm really, 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 really hoping that this is easy hands out. One of the best LEGO games of all time. And I really, really, really hope that this game will easily become my game of the year. So, guys, that is my reaction video to LEGO Star Wars. The Star Wars. The Star Wars. <laughs> the Skywalker. Skywalker. The Star Wars. I'm just so, so, so excited to play this game. The much for the link of this video. Where it be in the description. Be love. Hope you guys have any more questions. Question you want me to react to. Let me comments below make us like subscribe like my other videos see you guys in the next video peace out